migration south, from Northern Europe through the UK mainland, the European continent, and most often, to Africa. An epic journey of incredible proportions for millions of birds at this time of the year. Though from time to time, their flight pathways have to stop, to rest and for nutrition. And there is one piece of land on the Leicestershire and Northamptonshire border that for over four decades has sculpted itself to be the ideal place for returning and leaving migrants to take solace. This place is Stanford Reservoir. Its perimeter maintained meticulously by the Stanford Ringing Group. So that just as the birds funnel southeast to enter the European continent, the group can be ready and prepared to catch and ring them, providing countless immeasurably valuable data so that the conservation of their kind can hopefully be maintained for generations to come. For a second week, I'm joining the group to take another snapshot in time of this super highway of birds in what we're calling the Great Journey South. Throughout the next few weeks on certain days, the group will be holding vigil pre-dawn, waiting for the roosting birds to leave cover. The first two rounds of collecting birds will provide over 90% of the morning's data. And it's crucial everyone is prepared as early as possible. By 6am the first round is in. And the numbers of migrants caught are increasing at a substantial rate. Leaving the roost, a percentage of the passerines will find a soft repose of a net, carefully positioned along numerous net rides, through hedgerows and around the reservoir's perimeter, totally unharmed and secured in a pocket. They're extracted expertly and expediently. Finding themselves then in soft cotton bags, waiting for an intimate assessment of their plumage to resolve gender, age and weight. All of this tallied against a ring with a unique identifying number. quickly released to return to their epic journey south. The hope for all of this data is that there can be recoveries. From its history of over four decades ringing, Stamford has numerous recovery records. And when tallied together, can provide fascinating information. Take for example a numerous captured bird this morning, the sedge warbler. All of Stamford Ringing Group's recovery records for this bird show a clear migration path that once hits the European continent sticks within at least 10 to 20 miles of the west coast. Hugging this seaboard, it would appear all the way to Gibraltar Point and Africa. The final destination for sedge warblers is tropical Africa in sub Saharan countries such as the Congo. But the farthest record for a Stanford Ringin Group sedge warbler recovery so far is South Portugal. Take then another numerous captured bird this morning, the reed warbler. When assessing all of Stanford Ringing Group's recovery data on this bird, we find two. It mimics the pattern of the sedge warbler, keeping to the western seaboard. Aquatic habitats are crucial for them to find nutrition. Though there has been one rogue record, sadly of a first year bird, that somehow ended crossing the Mediterranean Sea. 
being found close to death on a boat 50 miles east of Menorca. But finally, if we look at Stanford Ringing Group's record for black caps, we clearly see this bird's priorities are different. A black cap is a durable species and one which can take to many types of habitat. Because of this, the recovery records show it takes the quickest route across the European continent, cutting through mainland France and Spain to Gibraltar Point. Many black caps will end their migration here in the Mediterranean basin or as the furthest Stanford Ringing Group records show in Morocco. Sadly, one of these birds was found dead killed by a catapult. Back at the reservoir there's been no rest as the second round of birds have been extracted. With the southbound passerine migration now in full flow, and knowing the site's incredible lure for these birds, it's not unusual to find bird-watching friends of the group scouring the scrub, thickets, hedgerows and track. For right now, at this time of the year, there is a chance of anything turning up. And within this second round, a few of these exceptional birds have been caught. In fact, we're about to see three of the most endangered passerines in Britain today. Starting with this bird. Bound again for sub-Saharan tropical Africa, this bird has declined by over 90% in the last 20 years. And is rarely found locally to Stamford as a breeding species. This is the spotted flycatcher, an absolutely stunning bird of the most subtle beauty and a personal favour of mine as you'll know from previous vlogs. Hot on its heels and also in the second round of birds were three red starts, this one a first year juvenile male with his adult plumage coming through nicely, a highlight for anyone to see. He's bound for sub-Saharan Africa, all the way from Senegal on the west coast to Eritrea on the east. And then, after ringing close to a hundred willow warblers, we find possibly the UK's rarest passerine. It's the tree pipit. bird that's destined for the plateaus and highlands of Cameroon and Zimbabwe. Much like with the other two old world flycatchers, the red start and the spotted flycatcher, this bird has drastically declined in the last 20 years, by at least over 90%. Stamford Reservoir then, a crucial stopping point on its epic journey south. For me personally though, the highlight was yet to come.
a migrant spotted by the eagle-eyed observers and seen to be using the farmland either side of the track. And one of the few UK birds I have never seen before. After a little perseverance and a patient few minutes, I was to find it. This is the wind chat. making use, as all of these migrants have, of the incredible wealth of food and cover that Stamford and its neighbouring farmland provides. This bird possibly from the highlands of the far north of Scandinavia, but will find itself wintering in the highlands of West Africa and Nigeria within a few weeks. I was absolutely, as you can imagine, over the moon. What a beautiful bird. No better way then to end vlog 37, I think you'd agree. And with Stamford Ringing Group poised for possibly even more exceptional birds, please come and join me again next week for vlog 38 in the final instalment of the great journey south. Between now and then, it just leaves me to say, take care and goodbye.